Hey guys, um, today I'm going to show you a website called Club Penguin and I'm going to show you, if you're not a secret agent, I'm going to show you some of the missions and I'm going to show you also some of um, some of the things you can do and what the secret agent service looks like now. Anyway, so let's get started. There's a period of up to 30 years to encircle theirs to then put in a claim. If no heirs are found or entitlement can't be proved, the money becomes part of the public purse. I'll fix it. Um. One of the cases which the Treasury couldn't solve is being investigated by air hunting company Fraser and Fraser. It looks weird, I know. It looks weird. Who died in 2007 at the age of 94. No, I'm not sure. Suggesting she was in fact married, so I'm just looking into that moment. So it's an old queer picture. The problem facing the researchers is that Pearl is recorded as being a spinster, but was living with a man of the same surname, Hugh Knight. They can't clear up whether Hugh is a brother or a husband, so they can't work out if she was born a knight or a female knight which means they don't know who her blood relatives and heirs might be. Tom Hopkins, I just looked at him and he's not possible. So far, the only lead they have is from Hugh's death certificate, the name of his nephew. The witness on the for uh, Hugh's death is uh, a Peter Knight. Um, and I think he's actually probably passed away quite recently, but it looks like his wife is still there. So if we can speak to her, she might be able to clear up um, the whole confusion over who the girl is. Speaking to people who knew the deceased is usually the quickest way to move a case forward. Right, that witness, Peter, we're not 100% sure if he's still around. He may have died recently, but that's probably his widow. Sometimes speaking to just one person can crack a whole case. Grimble's hoping that Elizabeth Knight will have known the deceased Pearl. Can you see Fiona? There's a policy machine there. You can call Fiona. But he's having trouble getting hold of her. Oh, hello, is that Fiona? Oh, my, um... <laughs> I've been, I've been trying to contact Mrs. Knight and I'll find her number and I was trying to um, contact uh, Fiona instead. Um, do you know Mrs. Knight at all? Was it Mrs. Knight in our school? Um, it's Hugh, we had, I had a nephew, Peter, which was taken to this before, her husband. Right, that's right. So it's not did you do you do Club Penguin? No, I think Paul just took you know, night, I think, yeah. Right. That's the problem. We don't know what this is. When you're secret agent, you get a spy phone. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye bye. This is Lily Elliot. This is Mark died a couple of weeks ago. Um, I can't remember what the connection is, but it sounds like she might be the family sensitive. Oh, Paul Knight, he never married Hugh, it's just a relationship. She has just taken his name, unfortunately. We've got no idea what name she was born in, so it's going to be very difficult. Very difficult. The mystery about Pearl's relationship to Hugh is now solved. She'd assumed the name Knight, but hadn't officially got married. It means a marriage certificate with the all-important maiden name simply doesn't exist. The team are still none the wiser as to who Pearl was. Um, my uh, theory that the 
you see it was actually Hughes, um, just that he's out in the water now. Uh, it turns out that Pearl was just living with Hugh, and uh, my idea that she's born in India is completely rubbish. All they can hope for now is that Pearl's death certificate will contain her birth name or place of birth. That would at least give them somewhere to hunt for a pearl born on the 16th of July, 1913. Bob, one of Fraser's travelling air hunters, is finally at the Lewis Register office to pick up the document. No, I'm, I'm feeling a bit my Unfortunately for Fraser, the death certificate does not contain Pearl's maiden name, and the place of birth is only listed as England. The informant is an occupier of the nursing home, so what we'll do now is go along to the nursing home and try and interview someone who may know something about a family. Do you get one of these postcards? Bob's made an appointment to see Leanne Sammers the name registered on Pearl's death certificate, and the manager and of that is in court care home. She owns 350 coins each month. She was obviously a very important person to Pearl. She was obviously very fond of him, my Hugh, my The same with the tour guide. Um, and that's how she would often refer to you. Except you get two. It's a a relationship of love, and I think um, Hugh and Pearl. You can go up here and... She was looking after Pearl, and Pearl was like, if you look after her. After his death, Pearl had moved into the care home. It's unclear whether she had had a property to sell. Pearl was here, she had very little um, the D on your keyboard no and you get financial affairs and so we wouldn't be sure what the state Pearl would have had her death. Leanne didn't know of a maiden name and couldn't mm -hmm. give her on the estate. It's I'd not like the new year, but it's not hoping to the secret agent service is in here, the everyday phoning facility. But, you know, um, secret agents are the EPF. If you have a look here, E, P, F. Her birth name is the link to finding blood relatives, and they are going to But it seems that just who Pearl was before she was here, going to change the text. will never be uncovered. So we can like, find out her on real maiden name. Yeah. We're stuck. Um, I don't think it's really awesome. Welcome back uh, to the test. The case of Pearl Knight has jumped. Whilst they won't close the case, they're unlikely to get anywhere without further information. Pearl's estate could be worth five thousand pounds, or considerably more. Let's see how room. fast you are. If a break Walk to the come, green square. Like all Pearl's money is destined to end up in the treasury's pocket. We're trapped. Run to the red square. I can't. In some cases, where heirs are successfully cut down, it's not the financial inheritance that ends up being most important. Finding out about family they never knew existed is often the most welcome news, but it can also be the start of an emotional journey. You always have to be very, very careful when you approach air in any investigation, because we never know quite what's around the corner, what we're going to open up or uncover. Sarah Curtis died on February the 9th, 2008, in an estate of £23,000. He had no family around him, and it was neighbours like Barbara Yellow who were his only visitors. He was an extremely lonely man. There we are. Very lonely man. We're up here. Yeah. 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 Two of them there were nieces Joyce Coley and Shirley Hughes. Oh, oh, we've got some here. They were both daughters of Cyril's brother Leonard by two different mothers, 
and therefore half sisters, but they'd never known of the other's existence. I went silent. The shock. Um, an excitement, where you could thought that I had. How clever are you? Any of any of the family at all? Never knew who there was. Didn't know where he was. Leonard Curtis had left his wife Hilda and daughter Shirley when Shirley was two years old. Square. This is the time I've never married. And whilst they never married, they did have a daughter, Joyce, who Leonard was a father to until his death. That's easy. All you have to do is get a snowball, get the electricity box. Keen to find out more about Come her and back in sister, here. Shirley has made initial contact with Jeremy Ford, the air hunter that tracked them both down. Let's the add up your scores. I've made contact with her. I've um, to her. Speed, skill, problem solving. So, whether she wants to know. So, we can go to her. Family is central to Shirley's life. We have his own name. Well, right, it's going to the yeah, she gave up place. Like a few years ago to help out with Sam Tony and granddaughter Jennifer. This is me, by the way, if you didn't already know. I'm a first family. Anyway, can I look weird again? I know it looks really weird. Does she really want to I hope you enjoyed my video. Um, that it will be good use. Sorry I didn't get to show you my missions. I forgot and I don't think I would have had time to. So. Anyway, bye!